So I'm kind of sad right now because I thought I had been keeping like a video diary since I found out that we were expecting. And it turns out I only made one video and I didn't even like finish the video, but it was really interesting. <laughs> but there's like no end to my video. So I'm, I'm just going to start at my 15 weeks. Yay! I'm currently 15 weeks pregnant. Still don't know the gender. And um, so I just now entered into my second trimester. So I'm really happy about that because we found out so early on with this baby. Like so early. And it was kind of freaking me out at the time. But I'm feeling a lot better. I survived the first trimester which I got to tell you is not, was not the easiest thing. And it wasn't even, I feel like as bad as it can be. So anyway, uh, I got my face done, my makeup done. Um, I did a live on this on Facebook, but it was like a private group. So it won't be on my Facebook, but I can definitely do a, a redo or something for the YouTube channel because this little pregnancy diary that I want to keep up with, I'm going to upload it on my YouTube channel. Um, so anyway, I got my makeup done because we just came back from, or we, we were at a friend's dinner, birthday dinner, and we just got back and I was like, you know what? I need to update my pregnancy progress. And I then realized that I have not been making videos like I thought. <laughs> like maybe I'm just doing them in my head. But I got to say I'm really excited because I'm on my 15th week. I have an appointment coming up in two weeks. And now literally like I'm in the 15th week. So in the 14th week entering that week, I immediately felt a lot better. Um as far as the no, uh, like the nos, nausea, no, nauseous, <laughs> the morning sickness, you know, wasn't, it wasn't a, like the worst it can be, but it was pretty bad to where I had to not take my vitamins the first trimester. I just now, literally the 14th week, I started like religiously taking them now. And the worst part about the vitamins, I got to say, you know, those omega-3 fish whatevers, when you take those and then you burp, it, you burp fishy taste and it's disgusting. So what I've been doing is I'll just, you know, my last meal of the day, like right before I go to bed kind of thing, I, I take them and that way I don't have that taste throughout the day. So I can't do them in the morning for sure. If I were to do that, I would be disgusted and I would lose my appetite because it's a really nasty taste. So I'm really happy that I'm I'm able to provide those nutrients for the baby and that I'm able to take the vitamins now as opposed to early on in the first trimester. Um, and when you think about it, like my first pregnancy, the first trimester, I, I went through it like I didn't even know I was pregnant so I didn't take any vitamins then so I know it's not like you know a horrible thing so um, one of the biggest uh, changes from the first trimester to now usually you start peeing like urinating more often at during that first trimester or at least it happened to me and now it's kind of changed to where the first trimester, I didn't have that pressure. Um, I had the pressure from the cramping, but I didn't have the need to go pee. And now that I just entered, you know, this 15, 14 and 15 week, I've, I've had to pee like maybe five times during the night. And it's horrible. Excuse me. And I've been like eating normal. I mean, uh, drinking fluids normal, like water and stuff. But I just feel so much pressure. I just, I've been going to the bathroom more often. And I, I definitely wasn't looking forward to that. 
Um, so ma major change is, you know, I'm taking my vitamins. I'm using the bathroom way more often. My cramping has subsided just a little bit. It's not, um, it's not as frequent as it was before the cramping and the back pain as well. I don't have it as much as I did the first trimester. And last but not least, and I'm not enjoying it. I am super emotional, like super emotional. And that's definitely not me. Like if y'all know me, you know, I'm just not, I don't show emotion as much with my daughter. I do like, you know, when it comes to love and all this stuff, like I'm emotional to, to a certain extent, but as far as like, you know, make a movie making me cry or something that I read making me cry or a bad dream, I am not emotional. And now I'm total opposite. Like everything and anything has been making me cry. Um, I think of something sad and I cry. I had a super like horrible nightmare last night. Horrible. I had to, like I was crying for a good 10, 15 minutes straight and I had to literally get up and I prayed, I did everything that I could so that I, it could just go away like an, out of my mental because that's how bad it just emotionally affected me having a bad nightmare. So I just had to kind of shake it off, get up and move on. But so I'm very emotional now. <laughs> I'm on my 15th week. And I will update you guys on uh, probably, I want to I wanna say I'm, I'm going to do it every two weeks because I don't think that there will be like major changes every week. So I think every two weeks will be good. I have been taking pictures. And you know what? I just thought about this. It dawned on me that because I've been doing the pictures every two weeks, I've been in my mind, I've been thinking, oh yeah, I'm, I'm keeping up with my progress. I'm keeping up and I really haven't. So maybe I will finish my other video with the conclusion to my first trimester <laughs> since I didn't get to do it. But we still have plenty of weeks to talk about and keep you guys updated. So in two weeks, maybe on my appointment day, it'll be a Friday. I will update you then. So thank you for watching. Thank you for joining me and taking this journey of pregnancy with me. Um, I'll see you on my next video.